Yung para bang ano sa RD, um, halimbawa, uh, 800 pesos. So from 800 pesos, ilang percent na napupunta sa utility? Ilang percent na napupunta sa security guard? Ilang percent na napupunta sa... Hello. Kasi, Hello, Aristotle. Good morning. Iba-iba. Naririnig po ako. So, hindi natin yung talaga maano. Pero, in, in that certain ano, payment, ilang percent ang kinukuha? Hello. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Naririnig ako? Clear ako? Good morning. Yes, sir. Okay. Ah, sige. Sabihin niyo kapag di-clear yung mga sinasabi ko, ha? Ah, sige. Ayan. So, um, wait, naayosin ko lang. Okay. Nakita niyo naman yung nakas- ano, diba? nasa screen. Okay. So, today, our topic would be logarithms or logarithmic functions. Um, class, to have you a disclaimer, medyo mahaba in discussion natin today kasi I will going to explain to you two modules, okay? Kasi um, hindi ko na-include sa module yung, kasi may, di ba may print ako, nakakot na baka kay Ma'am Ellen ng module kasi for this week sana at saka sa next week, magkakaroon tayo ng three, ano, three learning activity sheets, okay? Um, when I, ay sorry, three modules pala, sige yung class, sabihin ko na lang modules. Okay, meron tayong tatlong module and um medyo maano kasi 'yun siya. I mean, yung discussion kasi natin medyo mabigat kasi nga um I know that you are not really that familiar with ano with logarithms kaya um I created two modules for you to easily understand what is logarithms. Okay? Ayan. So, yung isang class natin, kaya nga dito ako mapapansin nyo, ang title niya, Class Sing It. Kasi isiningit ko lang talaga siya. Okay? Huwag niyo pansinin yung lesson 1, 2, 3 kasi it's not in order. Hindi yan yung tamang pagkakasunson kasi nga nagsingit-singit lang. Okay? So, yun. Um, yun. Ito yung parang magiging perks nyo since you attended our online classes. Malalaman nyo kung paano yung pagkakasunod-sunod and yung yeah, the logical order of our discussion for today for you to understand. Though, uh, madali lang din naman intindihin kapag ano, kapag when you read done the learning activity sheet hopefully. Okay? So, ayan. Start na tayo. Okay. So, last year, you already learned what is a um, what's this? What is exponential function or equation or inequality, right? Um, this makes sense kasi we already discussed the inverse function. And, di ba, pag naghanap tayo ng inverse function, hinahanap natin yung kabaliktarang function ng isang function or ng e- isang equation. In logarithms, it is actually the inverse of exponential function. So, ibig sabihin, when... It comes to its um, form, the exponential function can be written as logarithmic function. And in this first part of our topic, we will be learning how to write an exponential function to logarithmic function and vice versa. So, ayan. So, kapag meron daw po tayong y, wait lang. Ayan. Ang hirap magsulat sa pen. <laughs> okay. So, ito. So, kung meron po tayong y is equal to b raised to x, it can be written as x is equal to logarithm of y with the base b. Okay, ulitin ko. Paano yung pagkakabasa dito? Ito yan siya. Logarithm of y to the base b. So, ang basa natin dyan, lalaktawan natin yung base bago natin siya i-recognize. So, we have x is equal to the logarithm of y to the base b. Ganyan. Tandaan na kung paano basahin kasi merong part ng exam or sa quiz na kailangan yung alamin kung paano yan binabasan ng, ma, ng properly. Okay? How to read that properly. Okay. So, ayan. Anyway, hindi ko na ito didiscuss muna yung definition kasi didiscuss ko yan later. So, ang gagawin muna natin is converting exponential equation in logarithmic form. So, step one, alamin niyo muna yung parts. So, we have three parts. We have the base, the exponent, and the product. Let's take for example, let's have 4 raised to 2 equals 16. So, 4 is the base, di ba? Not ito yung tinuro ko last year. <laughs> and then, 2 is the exponent. O, alam niyo na yung base and exponent. Of course, the answer or the product is 16. 
So as a logarithm, we should write that as logarithm of the product to the base equals the exponent. So anong nangyari? So ang gagawin lang natin is to write the logarithm as log ng product to the base equals exponent. So ang ating answer would be logarithm of 16 with a base 4 equals 2. Nakuha niyo kung paano naging ganun? Okay, logarithm of 16 with a base 4. Okay, to have your shortcut, ang gawin niyo lang po is balik ta rin yung exponent and the product. Okay? Ayan siya. So, pag binaliktad na, ang order na ay base, product, exponent. Kaya pag sinulat natin siya, yung logarithm of 4 squared equals 16, magiging logarithm or log-log na lang siya, log of 16 with a base 4 equals 2. Okay. Ah, sige, gawa tayo ng iba pang examples. Ah, ito. Rewrite 3 raised to 0 equals 1 in logarithmic form. So all we have to do is, ayan, 3 as the base. Yung 0 and 1 natin, pagbabalik ta rin natin. And then rearrange. So we have logarithm of 3, ah, sorry, logarithm of 1 with the base 3 equals 0. Make sense? O, oh, ayan siya. Sige, question. May question? May question po? Parang wala kita, walang online na boys ah. <laughs> Meron ba? Wala nga. Wala po, sir. Okay. Ay, wala ng question. Okay. Oo nga. Walang online na boys. <laughs> anyway, ba sila dyan. Okay. Ah, sige. Kung wala ng question, ah, sige. Let's practice. Okay. E, ulitin ko class, ah. Katulad ng um, sa class natin last week, meron tayong answer key sa dulo kapag let's practice. Okay? So, ayan. So, practice na natin. So, convert the following exponential equations in logarithmic form. So, siguro pili lang tayo ng dalawa kasi bahal na kayo mag-answer nung iba. O, sige. Kunwari, ito, A. Ano yung mahirap na? Ito na. Yung letter B. Ayan. 9 raised to negative 2 is equal to 1 over 81. So, ano na yung form niya? Magiging ano siya? Logarithm of... Anong sunod? Logarithm of ano? Negative 2. Negative 2 ba? Anong gagawin nga natin? Babalik ta rin natin si si product at saka si exponent. So ano yung order natin? Prada, yung base natin tapos yung product. So ibig sabihin magiging logarithm of 1 over 81 to the base 9 is equal to negative 2. Wait lang. I-rewrite ko lang siya na maayos, ha? Okay. Uh, sige. Uh, sige uh, uh, ano po ang mga... Ano po yung Wait lang. Procedure? Okay. So, ito yun siya, ha? Ano po yung procedure? So, we have ulit logarithm of 1 over 81 to the base 9 equals 2. Nakuha? Yes, sir. Okay. How about C? Oh, sige. Ano mangyayari sa C? Logarithm of? Y. Logarithm of y, y to the base? E. To the base E is equal to? X. X to x. Okay. So, yan siya ha. Okay. Bahal na kayo mag-answer ng iba. Anyway, uh, as I've said a while ago, may answer. Sorry, wait lang. Ay, sige. Wait. Wait lang ha. Sige. Ayan. 
Yung sa letter B po, yung 2 po, hindi po siya magiging negative. Ay, sorry, negative yan po. Ayan. Oh, thank you. Negative 2. Ayan. O, oh, eto. Since, nakikita nyo ba tong E? Ayan. Di ba may E? Okay. So, sige, happy one ko ha. Yung E natin class is what do we call the Euler's number. Euler's, di ba? Pero ang spelling niyan class is ganito. Parang, you, parang ruler, pero na-typo ka kasi magkatabi yung R and E. So, yon. Ang basa dito class is Euler. Okay? He is a mathematician. So, yung Euler's number po is a constant, an irrational constant. And kapag yan po yung base natin, okay, di ba base natin siya ng logarithm, um, ang notation na ginagamit natin is ln or ln. Okay? Earlier, or earlier, earlier nga, nagamit natin si e, di ba? So, dapat kapag logarithm with a base e, magiging ln siya. So, magiging ln y equals x. Okay, yung iba, ang basa dito, ln. Dito lon ng basa. Pero yun, pili ka kayo lon or ano, logarithm of lon or ln. O, later on, we will have further discussion with natural logarithm. Kasi dun, dun siya pasok. Okay? So yan. So mamaya muna. So dito muna tayo sa pagsusulat ng exponential to logarithmic and then logarithmic to exponential. Okay? So before we proceed... Um, do you have any questions regarding converting exponential ex equations to logarithmic form? May question ba? Nan na po, sir. Okay. Wala, sir. Proceed tayo, ha? Okay. Ay, ito. Sorry. So, ito na. Converting... Ayan. Converting logarithmic equation in exponential form. So, same lang din ang gagawin natin. We have, um, we have logarithmic equation for first. So, gagawin natin siyang exponential. So, gayto yung form ng logarithmic. So, the logarithm of the product to the base is equal to the exponent. ba? So, meron tayong logarithm of 4. Or sorry, logarithm of 16 with the base 4 is equal to 2. So, ano yung mga parts niya? So, 4 is the base, 2 is the exponent, and 16 is the product. So, ayan siya. As, as an exponent, as an exponent, as an exponent, base raised to the exponent is equal to product. So, we have 4 squared is equal to 16. So, alam ko medyo confusing siya, ba? Pero, ang gawin natin is, gawa natin siya ng ano, ng way to make it easier. So, ang gagawin lang natin ulit, is pagpapalitin natin yung last number and yung middle number. Ayan. Ano ba yung last number? 2, ba? Ano yung nasa gitna ng number? 16. So, pagpapalitin lang natin sila ng posisyon. And then, yun na yung order ng mga numbers. Dapo, tapos, isulat natin siya in a way na exponential form siya. So, kung kapag 4 mo yung base dito, yun din yung base forever. Okay? So, we have 4 raised to 2 is equal to 16. O anong ginawa natin? Pagpalitin lang natin yung last number at saka yung, yung middle number. Katulad nung ginawa natin sa exponential. ba? So, yun siya. Ngayon, class, ito. Rewrite logarithm of S equals R in exponential form. Ngayon, class, kunin natin to. Logarithm of S equals R. Ngayon, class, may nakikita ba kayong base? Wala po. Okay. Sa logarithm, kapag wala tayong base, ibig sabihin, meron siyang base na equivalent to 10. Parang naalala lang yung kapag, di ba, may exponent yung, I mean, pag walang exponent yung number, di ba, dapat meron, which is 1. Tapos kapag sa radical sign, di ba, kapag ganyan, may exponent siya dito, which is 1, di ba? Kapag radical sign, dito may index, which is 2. Tama? Sa logarithm po, Kapag wala na kayo nakikitang base, ibig sabihin, meron niyang base, which is 10. Okay? So, may hidden, ano pala doon? May hidden base. Well, hidden base. Parang ano lang. <laughs> Gera. Ganon. So, ganon. So, 
since we don't see any base in our logarithm, therefore, we have base 10 or we have a logarithm with the base 10. Okay? So, later on, we will have further discussion with that. So, ayan. So, pwede nyo i-rewrite kung para uh, hindi kayo ma-confuse. So, we have logarithm of S to the base 10 equals R. And then, as I've said a while ago, para madali at hindi nyo natandaan kung ano yung gagawin, <laughs> pagpalitin nyo lang ito. Di ba ang haba-haba kanina? Pagpapalitin ng pala, sir, eh. So, we have, yan, pagpalitin nyo si S at si R, so the answer would be 10 raised to R is equal to S. O, yan na siya. Sige, question. Okay, wala. Sige. O pag, nag o, pag naging silent kayo in one minute, ibig sabihin walang tanong. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, ito na tayo. Let's practice. So, convert the following logarithmic equations in exponential form. Sige. Kunin natin yung A sa kayong... C. Ayan. Sige. So, go. Ayan. So, we have logarithm of u equals v. O, ano yung base? 10. Okay, base 10. So, rewrite natin. Po. Ayan. Rewrite natin, ha? So, ayan. So, we have logarithm of u to the base 10 equals v. O, para hindi lang kayo makonfuse kasi nawawala dito, di ba? Hala, sir, walang base. Di ba? Na, praning na yung iba. <laughs> So, ayan. And then, oh, sige, anong gagawin? Ayan. Pagpalitin natin to. O, ano na yung answer? 10 raised to V equals to U. Okay, 10 raised to V equals U. Okay, that is correct. Ay, mukhang V yung check. <laughs> ayan, sige, tanggalin ko na lang. So, 10 raised to V is equal to U. To you. Equal to you. <laughs> Choke lang. Parang happy birthday to you. Long day. <laughs> anyway. Do we, do, we really need, do we really need to satisfy? Sige. Next, we have ln x equals 4. So, ano na nga yung ln? Ano ibig sabihin pag may ln tayo? May ln? Naalala pa? Yung e, sir. Okay. Yung... Very good. Kapag meron tayong ln, ibig sabihin, ang logarithm natin ay merong base na e. Ayan. So, ganyan lang. Logarithm of x with a base e or ln of x is, is equal to 4. O, ganun lang. Rewrite, rewrite lang. Tapos, ayan na. Pagpalitin si x sa kasi 4. So, ano na yung answer? 4 e raised to 4 equals to x. Okay, very good. That is e raised to 4 equals x. So that's correct. Uh, do you find it difficult? Ba? Mahirap ba? No. Oh, kasi introduction pa lang. <laughs> Char, pa lang. Wala pa tayo sa katotohanan. Charot. Ayan. Anyway. Um, by the future, syempre, hindi lang tayo nagsasolve-solve ng ganyan. Aristotle. By the, ano, in the future, hindi tayo basta mag, ano, mag, mag, ganito, ganito lang, sir, naglo-logarithm pa, sir, hindi naman ginagamit in the, ano, so, in the real life. So, ayan. Um, next week, malalaman niya kung saan ginagamit. Diba? Ah, pwede pala siya gamitin sa lindol. Ganon. Ganon. Diba? Malay niyo, gusto niyo magpalit ng, ano, ng, ng, Kasi diba yums kayo, so <laughs> hindi kayo ganun sa science related. So malay nyo lang, hindi natin alam. <laughs> ganun. Okay. O sige, dun muna tayo. So dito muna tayo sa, um, sa isang class. Okay? So we have common logarithms and anti-logarithms. So bakit kailangan ito i-discuss? Kasi these are kinds of logarithm and we have different approach in, in dealing with this kind of logarithm. Ayan. So, we have common logarithm. O, ayun. So, common logarithm is those logarithm with a base 10. O, ito na yung kanina, yung log lang. 
Ibig sabihin, if a logarithm does not contain any base, therefore, it's a common logarithm and it has a base of 10. Which is technically, we don't write 10 when we have logarithm as a base, diba? Or balik that. We don't have, uh, we don't write uh, 10 as a base in logarithm kasi technically, may base talaga siya which is 10. So, bakit, bakit common logarithm? Kasi, most widely used ang 10. Why? Because, diba, um, in today, we are using the number system that is base 10. Kaya nga siya tinawag na decimal system. From the word deci means 10, ba? So, bakit base 10, sir, yung ating ano ngayon? Ang ating number system. Kasi diba, what do we call to our numerals, diba? We have the Hindu Arabic numerals. Wherein, we have Hindu, Hindu, <laughs> Hindu numbers, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Bakit siya Arabic? Kasi we have 0. And we all know that and then we did not we hindi natin we all know them <laughs> so di lahat nakakaalam pero zero is an ano is a arabic is an arabic number and it has arabic history kasi zero is used as a place holder or place yeah place holder kasi after 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 babalik tayo sa 1 pero to to ano tawag dito to show that we have another cycle that our decimal system or decimal decimal numbers is complete kailan natin mag magdagdag ng zero at the very beginning ibig sabihin magsa-start na naman tayo ng another cycle di ba so yon saka di ba kung papansinin niyo yung zero parang itlog di ba parang <laughs> sabi sa amin sa history of math yung isa pa daw sa ano sa reason kung bakit daw bilog yung zero kasi um Di parang halos everything does starts with a, ano, with a circle. Parang from, from a cell, from the egg, gano'n. Char lang. <laughs> that joke lang. Pero di ba, I mean, pag magsustart tayo, hindi naman tayo usually talaga nagsustart sa one, di ba? Siyempre, wala muna tayong binibilang. So, zero yon So, bigla, bigla tayong magka-count ng one. So, yon sa one, meron na tayong binibilang. So, yun nga. So, zero. Anyway, trivia lang din naman yun. <laughs> Ayan siya. Kaya in-explain ko lang bakit base 10 kang bakit decimal system and so. So, a logarithm to the base 10 is also known as the common logarithm or the Briggsian logarithm. I don't know why is it called Briggsian. Maybe um, the the proponent or the the inventor of common logarithm is maybe has a surname of Briggs or what. Pero it is also known as Briggsian logarithm. Ayan. So common logarithms are used in many physical quantities, quantity such as Richter scale magnitude of the earthquake, sound intensity, and chemical pH levels. So basically, to give you an overview, what we are going to do next week is mostly related to science. Magphysics and magkechemistry tayo next week using logarithms. Diba? So yun. Di ba magsa-science na tayo? Anyway, math is the queen of all sciences. Yun. <laughs> Ayan. Like decimals, base 10 in common logarithms is not written. So, hindi na sinusulat yung 10. Ayan. Hindi na sinusulat. So, the logarithm of x with a base 10 is written as logarithm of x instead. Ito na. So, dito na tayo sa katotohanan. So, common logarithm of a number. The common logarithm of a number, n, is equal to the sum of the characteristic of n and its mantisa. So, again, nga, logarithm of n is equal to characteristic plus mantisa. Now, before we proceed, I want you to review or recall of the things that you have learned when you study the topic about, um, what's this? about scientific notation. Do you still remember how to write a number in scientific notation? Marunong pa ba magsulat ng scientific notation class? No! Ayan na, no na. <laughs> okay. Kahapon nag-assume ako sa Rutherford, marunong sila, hindi pala. <laughs> anyway, sige. Um, sige, bigay ako ng example ha. Um, scientific notation is used to express extremely large and extremely small numbers. And that is indeed makes sense kasi sa logarithm, we are dealing with very small and very large numbers. Now, um, if we are going to use scientific notation, ganito yan siya. 
So let's take for example, we have, um, I wait lang, paano nga ba ginagamit si scientific notation? So scientific notation is used to express number using powers of 10. Di ba nakaraan ng powers of 2 tayo, naalala nyo yun, powers, di ba? So pag sinabi natin powers of 10, these are the numbers na merong base of 10. So ibig sabihin yung 10, di ba yan, 10. Ngayon, kung ano man yung magiging exponent nito, it is, it's either zero or negative or positive. Kung ano yung mga value nun, that is what we call the powers of 10. So 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 is all powers of 10. And that is used in scientific notation. Sige, let's take for example, we have ito, 396,000. So paano natin siya sinusulat as scientific notation? So, ang gagawin natin, kukunin nyo yung mga numbers aside from zero. Mali. Hindi, kunin nyo yung number. <laughs> yung buong number na lang. So, ngayon, yung number na to, gagawin nyo siyang um, decimal na may once digit. So, paano yun? So, ibig sabihin si 396, gagawin natin siyang 3.96000. Okay, pero hindi niya na isulat yung 000 class. Okay lang yan. Kasi nga decimal na siya. Ngayon, nakuha niya na siya, di ba? Okay. So ngayon, bibilang, di ba from dito siya ibig sabihin? So from this part, bibilangin niyo po kung ilang places yung, yung ginalaw ni decimal papunta dito sa dulo. Kasi dito nag-end yung number natin originally, di ba? So ilan yon? 1, 2, 3. 3, 4, 5. So times 10, kasi base of 10, raised to, ilan? Ilan yung ginlaw natin? 5. 5. Okay, 5. Tama ba 5? Oh, 5 nga. Parang di ako sure. <laughs> so 5. Wait lang. Sulat na naman yun. So 5. Ngayon class, anong direction yung pinuntahan natin? Left ba or right? Right. Right. Ngayon, right. Yung iba, di pa alam kung saan yung left or right. <laughs> so right. Di ba? Right. Ngayon class, sige, review tayo. Sa Cartesian plane, saan ba makikita yung mga positive numbers? Sa left or sa right? Sa right. Sa right. So, ibig sabihin, ang, dahil right yung direction natin, positive po yung 5. So, the scientific notation for 396,000 is 3.96 times 10 raised to 5. Nakuha po? Yes, sir. Okay. How about 0 0.00004? Okay, kunin natin yung number. Sige, kailangan may 1. So, ibig sabihin, ano magiging ano siya? Magiging 4.2. Tama? Kasi dito mo ilalagay yung decimal. Yan. Dapat may 1's digit. May, may whole number siya na isang digit lang. Yan. So, times 10. Ngayon, gagalawin natin yung decimal point from here. Dito kayo magsa-start ha, hindi dito. Kung saan kayo una naglagay ng tuldok. Okay. So, dito kasi yung original. So, hindi yan yung starting point. O, dito kayo naglagay. So, ilang step papunta dito? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, ilan po? 5 po. 5. Negative 5. Now, what is the direction? Left. Saan makikita ang mga negative numbers? Sa left. So, that is negative. So our scientific notation for 4.2 times 10 raised to negative 5. So yan yung answer. Naalala na? Yes, sir. Okay, how about ito? How about class kung ganito lang? 2.96. Oh, ano yung scientific notation yan? So, yan na siya agad, di ba? So, we have... Ayan. So, we have 2.96. Dapat may times 10 pa rin. Times 
10 pero raise to ano? Last question. Gumalaw ba kayo ng decimal point? Hindi po. Hindi. May il ilang moves ang ginawa ninyo? Zero. Okay, zero. Ibig sabihin, zero po yung exponent ninyo. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, the scientific notation for 2.96 is 2.96 times 10 raised to zero. Makes sense kasi ano ba ang value ni 10 raised to zero? One. One. So, ibig sabihin, 2.96 times 10 raised to zero, which is one, is the same pa rin. So, yan siya. Okay? I'm a question. Sorry, wait. Ayan, one. One daw. Okay, that's correct. Anyway, so, na-review na ha. So, ayun. Ngayon, sumbong ko kayo sa science teacher no kasi nakalimutan nyo. Charot. <laughs> na joke lang. So, sige. Balik tayo sa topic. Kasi kailangan natin yung scientific notation natin, class. Ayan. So, ayun. Let's take for example, we have any number n. So, n can be any number. Now, write n as the scientific notation. So, we use this variable. So, kunari, ang scientific notation ni n is equal to m times 10 raised to c. Okay? Ngayon, so, ito na siya, di ba? So, ito na yung scientific notation natin. And then, before we continue our topic, with this, ano, with this common logarithm, I want you to have this first pala. Let's proceed to, to the loss of exponent. Okay? So, ito siya. Um, class, may ano pala ako, tawag dito. May, may question. Do you still remember ba the, the loss and the properties sa ating exponential function? Kasi if, if you do, then you have... Um, idea of what we are going about logarithms. Kasi nga, di ba, baliktaran lang sila. Now, we have here properties. Ito muna, ha? I-set aside nyo muna yung kanina. Tandaan nyo lang si scientific notation. Okay. So, we have basic properties of logarithms muna. Ito. Ngayon, ito siya, tatlo. So, if we have logarithm of b, it, uh, sorry, logarithm of 1 with a base b equals 0, yan yun siya. Okay, kapag may log of 1, pag may log of 1 lagi class, ibig sabihin 0 yan. Regardless kung ano yung base. Bakit? Kasi class, pag sinulat natin to siya in exponential, that would become b raised to 0 equals 1. Diba? Any number raised to 0 would be equal to 1 except 0. Tama? Yan siya. Hindi ka pala siguro na declare. Okay. Property and class. Ha? Ibig sabihin, nag apply siya forever. <laughs> Next. So we have number 2, logarithm of b raised to x with a base b is equal to x. So cancel to. Pati to. Yan. So x na lang. Nakuha po. Kasi, di ba pag sinulat natin, b raised to x equals b raised to x, which is tama. Diba? So, x na lang. So, tama ito. And c, ganun din. Ayan. So, kapag ganyan, pag b raised to logarithm of b with the base x, o parehong base, o diba yun yung mga base, cancel na yan. So, matitira si x. Oh, sige. Ano tayo? Practice. Wait na nga. Rewrite ko lang to. Okay. Sige. Letter A. Example number one. Use the basic properties of logarithms to find the value of the following logarithmic expression. Num letter A. Logarithm of 10. What is the answer? Using the properties. Sige, ano yung base ng, ten, ng logarithm of 10? Ano 
Oh, class. Ano yung base ng logarithm of 10? 10? Okay, that's correct. Now, oh, sige. Ano, an, ngayon, ito na siya, class. Anong property pwede natin i-apply? First, second, or third? Pangalawa, sir. Okay, pangalawa. So, what would be the answer? Oh, sige. Ano ang exponent ni 10 dito? Itong 10 na to. 1. 1, one. sir. So, kung may exponent dito na 1, at dahil dun sa, katulad ng sinabi ko sa number 2 kanina, cancel to. So, what would be the answer? 1. 1. That is correct. Nakuha na class. Ibig sabihin, pag na-cancel pala to, sir, hindi 0 ang answer. Hindi. Okay, 1. 1 yan siya. Kasi, di ba, may exponent dyan yung number na hindi na rin nakikita. Di ba? O yun. Anyway, sige, let's proceed. How about letter B? Now, what's the answer? 2. Okay, this is 2. Ayun no, cancel nyo lang yan. No? May natirang exponent. 2. Okay, how about letter C? Oh, what? We have logarithm of 49 with the base 7. O sige. Sir, ang di naman siya makancel kasi di naman sila pareho ng base. E di i-transform, di ba? O ano ang value ng 49? Using exponents. May narinig ako kaninang 2 yung answer. O paano ginawa? Ah sige, ano yung base? 7. O ano? Anong exponent ng 7 para maging 49? Two. Okay, 2. So, ibig sabihin, itong logarithm of 49 with the base of 7 is logarithm of 7 squared with the base 7. So, cancel to, di ba? So, ano yung natira? 2. Two. Two Ito pala yung answer o. Nasa, <laughs> nasa baba lang. Anyway, sige. Tapos ito, logarithm of 1 o any number, basta logarithm of 1, 0 na yun siya agad. So, yun. O, at least na-explain ko kung paano nakuha. O, ayan. O, kayo nang bahala dito. Use the basic properties of logarithms to find the value of the following logarithmic expression. O, ito. Di ba sila pareho ng base? O, hanapin nyo ito ngayon. Okay. O, kayo nalang magawa. May answer key naman din. Sige. Dito na tayo. Loss of logarithm. So, we have three loss of logarithm. We have the power rule, the quotient rule, and the rule in the power rule product quotient and power multiply divide and exponent okay kapag ayan the, lo the log of the product or the logarithm of the product is equal to the sum of the logarithm of the first base and the logarithm of the second base so we have and ito kapag mayroon tayong logarithm of uv with the base b therefore we will be having hiwalayin natin yung uv we will have logarithm of u with the base b plus logarithm of v with the base b. So, paano yun siya? Ibig sabihin, kung may example tayo, kunwari, logarithm of 3a with the base 2, magiging ano siya? Logarithm of 3 with the base 2 plus logarithm of a with the base 2. Nakuha niyo yung logical ano niya? Yes, sir. Paano? Okay. So, pag multiply, anong part na multiply? Plus. Okay. Quotient rule tayo. The logarithm of the quotient is equal to the difference of the logarithms of the numerator and the denominator. So, ibig sabihin, kung meron tayong logarithm of uv, that would be equal to logarithm of u with the base b minus logarithm of v with the base b. So, kung meron tayong logarithm of 1 half with the base x, therefore, that would be logarithm of 1 with the base x minus logarithm of 2 with the base x. 
okay next we have ito wag na tong change your base mamaya pa kasi to siya so we have power rule the logarithm of a power is equal to the power times the logarithm of the base so all we have to do is to bring down this exponent here okay so magiging ano siya n times logarithm of u with the base b so kung meron tayo kanina kung nare kanina logarithm of ano yon ano kanina logarithm of 7 squared with a base 7, ibig sabihin pwedeng ibaba dito si 2. Okay? So magiging 2 times logarithm of 7 with a base 7. Ah, sir, kaya pala 2 yung answer kanina kasi maka-cancel ito. So pwede pala ibaba yung exponent kapag dun siya sa may ilologarithm. Okay? So yun siya from dito. And class yun pala, kung pwede natin siyang baguhin, pwede din natin siyang ibalik. Okay? So, kunwari, dito siya sa baba, pwede niya siya iangat. Power rule yun. Kapag mahaba siya and minus, pwede niya ipagsama. Okay? And vice versa po yan siya, class. Ah, sige. Meron ba dito? Ito, oh. Sige, examples. So, use the property of logarithms to expand each expression in terms of logarithms of the factors. Assume each factors are positive. So, ayan. So, we have logarithm of a squared b. So, ito siya. So, magiging ano siya? Logarithm of a squared b magiging plus. Kasi ano yung pagitan ng a squared saka b? ba? So, multiply yung gitna nito. So, magiging logarithm of a squared plus logarithm of b. Ngayon, yung exponent na to ibababa natin doon. So, we have 2 2 log. Bakit 2 log na kayo? <laughs> so we have 2 logarithm of A plus logarithm of B. So ito yung answer. Ito yung expand ha. Expand. Ibig sabihin papahabain natin. Sige next. Okay. So salon, ganun din class. Kasi logarithm din naman yan. Pero with the base E lang. So the ln of x times x minus 6. Ano yung operation sa gitna nila dito? times, di ba? So, ibig sabihin, paghihiwalayin natin. So, meron tayong ln of x plus ln of x minus 6. Question, plus ito ba pwede pagalawin? Pwede pa ba ito galawin? Yung nasa box. Okay, wala nagsagot. So, hindi na pwede. <laughs> hindi na pwede, class, kasi yung x minus 6 ay yun yung buong ni ln. Okay? Yun yung may buong ln. Kahit may minus pa yan. Kasi nakita niyo yung parenthesis, diba? In enclosed. Okay? Sige, next. We have logarithm of 3 minus x. I sorry, 3 over x cubed with the base 3. Okay, class. May question ako. Nasaan yung 3? Nasa loob ba ng parenthesis or nasa labas ng parenthesis? Sa labas. Sa labas. Sa labas. Ibig ang, ang gagawin natin dito is yung paloob. Okay? So, uunahin natin yung labas. So, yung 3 dito, yan yung ila, bababa muna natin doon sa unahan. Kaya meron tayong 3 log 3 over x with the base 3. Ngayon, itong 3 over x class, magkasama yan siya. So, pag transform natin to meron tayong 3 logarithm of 3 with the base 3 minus logarithm ay, dito na rin pala. May answer na pala. Okay, anyway. So, ito na siya o. Oh. So, logarithm of 3 with the base 3 minus logarithm of x with the base 3. Sir, bakit may parenthesis? Kasi nga, una natin ginalaw yung 3. ba So, dapat hiwalay siya. Kasi ang magkasama is yung logarithm of 3 with the base 3 and logarithm of x with the base 3. Ngayon class, ano ang value nito? Di ba cancel? So may 1. Nakuha? Ito na siya naging 1. Kasi kinancel mo eh. Ngayon, distribute na. 3 times 1, 3 3 times negative logarithm of x with the base 3 is 3 logarithm of x with the base 3. 
So this is the final answer. Okay, nakuha po. Yes, sir. Ah, sige, question. Walit na rin naman. Ba? Kasi parang walang tatanong eh. Sige, question. Sige, tanong kayo. Sir, pwede po yung step by step talaga na hindi pa nakisulat agad. Ah, sige. Um, tapusin muna natin to siya, yung expand, saka yung condense. Okay? O oh, sige, ito. Use the properties of logarithm to condense the expressions as a single logarithm. Ngayon, plus, ang gagawin natin dito, mahaba siya. Ngayon, papaikliin natin. So, ito. Logarithm of 3 plus logarithm of 4. So, ano yung operation sa gitna, class? Plus. So, kung plus yung nasa gitna, ibig sabihin times. Pagda times natin itong 3 and 4. So, magiging logarithm of 3 times 4. So, 3 times 4 ilan? 12. Kaya siya logarithm of 12. And so, ganun din yung sa iba. Okay, i-check nyo na lang. Ngayon, ayun na. Sige. Due to popular demand, charot. <laughs> Due to, ano, eto. Kailangan din natin kasi nila, ano, diba, clean slate tayo mag-start. Okay. So, let's have, kunwari, um, wala akong math na book na dala eh. Sige, anyway. Ano muna tayo, ha? Expand. Okay. So, we have logarithm of Okay, so we have logarithm of p q cube r s squared with a base x. Okay, expand down natin to. So first step is to check all the operations. Ano ba yung mga operations na ginamit? Sa, sa dito sa buo. So since product lang naman, therefore since product siya, ang gagawin natin is plus. mag add tayo. So this would become logarithm of x or sorry, logarithm of P with the base X, check, plus logarithm of Q cubed or Q raised to 3 with the base X, check, plus, isa isa natin, logarithm of, e, of R with the base X, or check name R, plus logarithm of S squared with the base X, check. Now, may mga exponent. Ang gagawin natin kapag may exponent is of course to bring down. So we have logarithm of x with the base p. Uh, sorry, baliktad. Logarithm of p with the base x plus logarithm of, baba na si 3, dito na siya. 3 logarithm of q with the base x plus logarithm of r with the base x plus 2, baba natin si 2, logarithm of S with a base X. So, ganyan po siya. Question. None po, sir. O, sige. Bigay pa ako na isang example. Yung sama-sama na lahat ng operations. Ganyan. Okay. So, how about Ayan. Logarithm of A squared B over C. So, anong gagawin natin dyan? Okay. So, kung ganito class, ano muna yung magkasama? Sige. So, yun yung gagawin natin. So, ano yung magkasama class? Yung A squared and B, di ba? So, ganito yan siya. Logarithm of 2 Ito muna taas gagalawin natin ha. Logarithm of A squared with the base 2 plus logarithm ano yan? Logarithm of B with the base 2. Okay. So, iko-close natin siya class kasi sila yung magkasama. Okay. Kasi yung buong A squared and B, yun yung mamainusan natin ng C kasi siya yung may over C. Minus Minus logarithm of C 
with the base 2. Ngayon, ibababa na natin to yung exponent. Kaya magiging logarithm or 2 logarithm of a with the base 2 plus logarithm of b with the base 2. And close mo yun kasi lahat ay mamainusan ng logarithm with the base with ay, logarithm of c with a base 2. Nakuha po. Sige daw, question po. Sa second example natin. Sir, pwede pa ulit, sir. Okay. So, si, ito lang gagawin natin. Si, si a squared and b, ano siya? Magkasama. So, kapag, ano, kapag, kasi itignan nyo, dalawang operation yung ginamit, di ba? So, si a squared and b, ano yan siya? Um, isang equation, or isang, sorry, magkasama, isang term sila. Ngayon, dahil isang term sila, pagsasamahin nyo muna. Okay? So, ikukulong nyo sa parenthesis. And then, anong operation yung ginamit? Multiplication. So, plus siya sa gitna. So, we have logarithm of a squared with a base 2 plus logarithm of b with a base 2. Ngayon, dahil magkasama sila, so, so, okay na sila, ba So, na-enclose. Tapos, over C, dahil over C, minus C yun siya. Okay? So, meron tayong negative logarithm or minus logarithm of C with a base 2. Kasi nga over C. Okay? Ngayon, ibababa na natin yung 2 sa gilid. Kaya, 2 logarithm of A with a base 2 plus logarithm of B with a base 2 minus, or qu nung quantity nun, minus logarithm of C with the base 2. Sige, question ulit. Baka may part na magula pa rin. Okay na po, sir. Okay na? O, oh, sige. So, yun yung mga ano natin. O, oh. Laws and properties of of ano of dito, of logarithms. Okay, so balik na tayo dun sa may science. I check mo na. So balik na tayo dun sa scientific notation. Ayan na de ba? So yun. So okay. So ito siya. So ito yung standard formula kasi. So, ayan nga. Si N, hanapin natin ang scientific notation. Um, ang general kasi is ganito. M times 10 raised to C. Ang scientific notation natin. Now, ito na siya, di ba? Ito na yon. Ginyo natin scientific notation. 10 raised to C times M. Naging baliktad lang. Tapos, ano yung operation na, sa pagitan ng scientific notation? Di ba? Times. Times, di ba? So, sa logarithm... Diba? Kapag mayroon time sa gitna, magiging plus. Tama? Ngayon, Yes po. Kung ano yung, exp yung, yung dito, wait lang. So, ano yung red ball pa na yan? So, dito, times dito, so magiging plus siya. Ayan na. Ngayon po, dahil plus na siya, okay na siya. And then, ito yung sunod. Ibababa nyo yung C dito. So, C log 10 plus logarithm of M. Diba tandaan nyo na may 10 dito? So, cancel. So, we have C times 1 plus logarithm of M. Now, we have C plus logarithm of M. Now, yung C dito, yung value ng C, yung power ng 10 is what do we call the characteristic. Okay? And... The value of logarithm of m is what do we call the mantisa. So, yun siya. So, sir, ano yan? So, ganon. So, ito na. Apply na natin siya. Find each logarithm. So, ito siya. So, we have, ito. May answer na agad eh. So, we have 3.2. Hanapin yung scientific notation. Ayan. So, we have 3.2 times 10 raised to 0. So, i-rewrite natin yung 3.2 as the scientific notation. So, we have logarithm of 3.2 times 10 raised to 0. And then, 
paghiwalay yan sa magiging plus. So we have logarithm of 3.2 plus logarithm of 10 raised to 0. Ibaba mo si 0, logarithm of 3.2 plus 0 logarithm of 10. Kahit cancel na to class. So 0 na lang, di ba? So what is the value of logarithm of 3.2? Ngayon, class, ito yung hahanapan nyo ng value. So, using your calculator, ayan, kaya you need your calculator here. So, evaluate 3.2. So, ang value ng 3.2, logarithm of 3.2 is 0 0.5051. Ngayon, class, check nyo muna to. Dito sa second to the last step. Yung, va yung ano dyan, yung decimal dyan is what do we call the mantisa. Yung whole number is the characteristic. Actually, hindi lang yon. Kung ano ang power ni 10, yun na agad yung characteristic. Okay? Nakuha po. So, yan po yung um, longer way to find our um, logarithm. Maganyan-ganyan pa, sir. Pwede naman i-type to sa calculator. Make sense. Tama? Yun yung shortcut. I-direction nyo lang to sa calculator. But again, paano nyo malalaman na shortcut siya kung di kayo dumadaan sa long way? Di ba? Paano nyo nalaman na mas malapit pala dumaan sa sports complex papuntang school kaysa kung dito kayo dadaan sa may Robinson? And so, di ba? So, yun. At least, alam nyo kung paano kunin yung um, logarithm using the long way. Saka, kailangan kasi alamin din kung ano yung mantisa and characteristic. So, yun siya. Sige, next example tayo. Later on, we will have other examples. Siguro mga dalawa. Okay, next. So, we have 4.25. So, 4.25 is, yan, 10 raised to 2. Ngayon, we have logarithm of 4 point, sorry, may mali. Ano dapat to? 4.25. Ayan. Sige, sulat natin. Logarithm of 425. So, ayan. Logarithm of 425 is equal to logarithm of its scientific notation, which is 4.25 times 10 raised to 2. Paghiwalay yan kasi pa times dito, magiging logarithm of 4.25 Plus, logarithm of 10 raised to 2. Baba si 2. Tapos cancel na tong si logarithm of 10. So, we have logarithm of 4.25 plus 2. Ngayon, class, ito na. What is the value of logarithm of 4.25? That would be 0 0.6284. So, kahit sa final answer na kayo magtingin, the whole number is the characteristic. Di ba siya din yung power ng 10? Di ba? Ayan, no? Kahit sa una pa lang, ayan, no? Characteristic na agad yung exponent ng 10. And in the decimal, yung value ng logarithm of 4.25, yun po yung titawag nating mantisa. Ayan. Okay, inakuha po ba? Ay, question. Sige, question muna. Habang may inayon. Yes po. Yung nakabela, sir, iba po yung mantisa niya. Saan? Ay, okay. Sorry. Ito ata din napalitan. Sa example number ano to eh. Number one na mantisa. Okay, it should be, ano, 6284. Wait lang ha. Ayan. Magiging ano siya? Zero point. Ay, hirap naman. Six, two, eight, four. Wait lang ha. Ayusin ko lang pen tablet ko. Ayun. So, based dun sa ating ano, um, 
Uh, Ay, wait lang. Mali. Based dun sa ating ano, um, scientific notation and the way kung paano tayo magkuha ng logarithm of a number, um, may, ba, may mga ano ba kayo, question kayo or issues or in, saan part siya mahirap, mga ganun. Sige, wait lang. Ayan. Saan part sa tingin niyo yung difficult and Ayan, sige, wait lang ha. Ah, sige, ayan. Okay, so example number three na tayo. And then later on, I will, ano, I will ask you some question. So we have 0 0.0611. So, the scientific notation would be 6.11 times 10 raised to negative 2. O alamin niyo kung paano naging ganyan. So, we have logarithm of... Nawala. Wait lang ha. Logarithm of 6.11 times 10 raised to negative 2. So, ano yung ano natin? Characteristic o alamin natin agad. That would be negative... Negative 2. So, 6.11, and logarithm of 6.11, I usually class, kapag, di ba may log of 10 na yan siya, yun na yung shortcut agad din nun. Cancel na agad ito. Kasi nga, alam mo na agad na ang characteristic is negative 2. Di ba? Kahit naman dito, tignan mo na lang, di ba? So, we have logarithm of 6.11 minus 2. Ano yung value ng 6.11? That would be 0 0.7860. So, 0 0.7860 minus 2, that would be, that would be ito, 1 point, 1, negative 1.2140. Ngayon, class, hindi ito yung titignan nyo ng mantisa and ano na, karakteristika, yung ito. Okay? O ano yung mantisa? That is 0 0.7860. Ayan. Tapos, ang characteristic is negative 2. Kasi last, ay yesterday, dito sila tumingin. Ang characteristic daw is 1. And yung mantisa is 0 0.2140. Ngayon, class, yun nga yung tatandaan nyo, na ang characteristic is power ng 10. Okay? Yung mantisa kasi natin hindi pwede mag-negative. Okay? So, yun. So, yun siya. Okay, oh, sige, let's practice. Find the common logarithm of each number. So, round off to four decimal places. O, oh, sige. Pwede ba? Iwanan ko muna sa inyo ito. Gawin. Sige. Um, try nyo po yung number three and number four. And then, siguro after five minutes, we will, ano, we will, tawag dito, we will answer. Okay? So, in five minutes, wala muna magtatanong sa akin, ha? Okay lang? O, sige. In five minutes, ayan, siguro mga 10, te, at 10, 15, isolve na natin siya. Okay? O, sige. So, your time starts now.
Hello, may nag-check ba ng attendance for today? Meron po, sir. Yes po. Ah, okay. Sige. O, oh, ayun na. 10.50 na. <laughs> Sakto. Okay. O, oh, sige. Let's answer. We have, ilan ulit yun? 408,000 and 0.000509. Okay. So, we have, okay. Siguro, ano na lang? Dito. Okay. So, we have 4, ilan yun? 408, di ba? 408. Ayan. 408,000. So, we have logarithm of 408,000. So, what is the scientific notation first of 408,000? That would be, ilan? 4.808 times, ilan? 10 raised to 5. Okay. So, logarithm of 408,000 is equal to... Logarithm of 4.08 times 10 raised to 5. I sorry, nasdi na sama si 5. Then raised to 5. Okay, so apply the loss of logarithm. So we have log of 4.08 plus log of 10 raised to 5. So pwedeng derecho hindi lang natin class logarithm. Of 4.08, kasi cancel to, di ba? Cancel si log of 10 plus 5 na lang. Now, what is the value of 4.08? Hala, naiwan ko yung kalkyo ko. <laughs> Wait lang. Sige, ilan yung value ng ano 4.08? Nakakalculate niya ba? 0.61060. Okay, then, point six one zero six. Sige daw, check natin. Ano, sir? Zero seven po kasi mag-round off po. Ah, okay. So, we have 4.08 tapos logarithm nun. That would be 0.61066. So, oo, seven nga. Okay, so seven. Okay. Okay. So, ito na siya. Ano na? Plus 5. Okay. So, the answer would be 5.6107. Pero question, what is the mantisa? 0.6107. Okay. 0.6107. The characteristic, sige, see na lang nga. C is? 5. Five. Five. Ayan. So, tama. This is the answer. O, kung, gusto, kung gusto nyo class i-check, o, i-direct nyo agad. Sir, talaga. Ano nyo yung inaan nyo? O, type nyo na lang. Logarithm of 4080000. O, yan. Check nyo nga kung tama yung answer. Tama, sir. Tama po. Class, narinig niyo ba yung boses ni Sir Jay kanina? Yes, sir. Ah, okay. Pero mas malakas pa rin yung boses ko. Opo, sir. Hindi naman nagugulo? Hindi naman po. Ah, okay. Ayan, okay. O, sige. Kasi, hello? Ayan. <laughs> kasi ano, hindi kami maka-wifi. Ayan. Okay na po? O, sige. Ano yung number natin kanina? 0.000509. Okay? So, ayan. So, tama ba number natin? 
Yes, sir. Okay, tama. Okay, so we have logger. Ano yung scientific notation? Ay. Yeah, oo, ano? 5.09 Okay, so we times have... Times 10. Okay, 5.09 times 10. 10. Raised to negative 4. Negative 4. four. Okay. So we have logarithm of five. I sorry. So lo, we have logarithm of of zero point zero 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 five zero nine is equal to the logarithm of five point zero nine times ten raised to four. Okay. Now simplify. Apply the law of Logarithm. So you have logarithm 5.09 plus logarithm of 10 raised to 4. Okay. Now, so we have, okay, cancel na to. So we have logarithm of 5.09 plus negative 4. Tama ba? So we have, okay, simplify din natin yung logarithm of 5.09. O ilan? Zero point, ilan? Zero point seven zero six seven. Okay, so we have, okay, tama. Nakalcule din naman. Okay, minus four. So what's the answer? Negative three. 0.2393. Okay. So we have negative 3.2393. So what is the mantisa? 0 0.7067. Okay. Ito yun. Sige, ibang kulay. So ito yung mantisa. Yan. Negative 4 is the characteristic. Okay, so yun siya. Question. None po, sir. Okay. So, sige, proceed na tayo, okay? Malapit na rin. Malapit na tayong mamatay, charot. <laughs> charot lang. Okay, so, ayun nga. Uh, dito na tayo. Next topic would be anti-logarithms or anti-logarithms. May anti si logarithm. Baka may uncle din. Char. <laughs> so the anti-logarithms abbreviated as the antilog of the logarithm of the number n is equal to the number n. Ayan. So anti-logarithms are the inverse of the common logarithms. Hence, logarithms were just using n as a power of 10. So, kapag meron tayo antilog ng log n, ibig sabihin nun, i-raise lang natin sa 10 yung ina-antilog. So, kapag meron tayo antilog 0 0.5051, ang gagawin natin, gamitin natin itong 0 0.5051 as exponent of 10. Nakuha? So, ibig sabihin, ang antilog 0 0.5051 is equal to 10 raised to 0 0.5051. Okay? So what's the value? So we have 3.1996 or point or 3.2. So yun lang yun siya class. Tignan nyo. Gagaw yung antilog, gagawin nyo lang exponent ito katabi ng 10. So kung papansin nyo, class, ito mga examples natin is kabaliktaran lang ng example natin sa example number 2. Ay, example number 1 pala, sorry. Example number 1. So ayan nga, oh, to find the anti-logarithm of the number, simply raise the number to 10 and evaluate. So ayan, find the anti-logarithm of each number. Round your answers to the four decimal places. So itong apat na to, class, Erase nyo ng 10. May answer key yan sa dulo. sa yun? O check nyo na lang dito. Okay? 
So, yan siya. Yun lang naman yung antilog. Yung ant... Nakuha niyo ba, class? May question ba? None, sir. Oo. Yun po, sir. Okay, yun lang naman yan. Maday lang naman siya, di ba? So, yun, din, yun lang yung antilog. <laughs> Kabalik na siya ng common logarithm. Yun pala yung importante doon. Antilogarithms are the inverse of the common logarithms. Yan lang yung tatandaan ninyo. So, kapag mayroon kayong value, raised to 10 lang. 10 raised to, yun lang. Okay? Okay. So, next. We have change of base theorem. So, ito. Usual to siya. Kasi, what if yung calculator ko, di ba may mga calcu na ganun? Wala siyang base. I mean, base 10 lang yung pwedeng gamitin. So, if we have that, ito siya. If logarithm of x with a base b, ayan, logarithm, ano ba yan? Logarithm of x with a base b, so magiging logarithm of x with a base a siya over logarithm of b with a base a. So hint, the easiest way to use the change of base theorem is to use the common logarithm. So pag common logarithm class, ulitin ko, ano na nga yung base natin pag common logarithm? 10. Okay, 10. 10 po. Okay, 10 class ha. Okay. Ngayon class, kahit hindi nyo na, di na tayo mag-focus dito. Okay? Kahit dito na lang tayo. Yan na lang. Okay po? So we have logarithm of 3. Ayun nyo yun, with a base 2. So ang logarithm of 3 with a base 2 is equal to the logarithm of 3 over logarithm of 2. Ganyan na lang. So, kung ikakalkin nyo siya, that would be 0 0.4771 over 0 0.3010. So, that would give us 1.5850. Ayan, sorry. Ayan, nak nakuha po class. Ito, mali pala to. One four, ano yan? 1.4899. May question, class. Sa change of base. Sir, pwede po pa ulit. Ah, sige. Dito, sa change of base, class, kung ano yung, kung ano yung, ay, wait lang. Example muna tayo. Change your base to, di ba? So, change your base. Kapag meron tayong logarithm of 3 with a base 2, kunin nyo muna yung logarithm of 3. Logarithm of 3. Over, ano yung base? Class, ano yung base natin? 2. I-logarithm natin yung base. Tapos i-divide natin siya from the, lo the original logarithm. Kaya meron tayong logarithm of 3 divided by logarithm of 2. Nakuha na? Okay. Ngayon simplify. O yun na siya. Okay. Ngayon class, sige. Kasi ito yung example natin ito kanina. What if magbigay ako? Logarithm of 15 with the base 12. O ilan? So ano magiging ano siya? Logarithm of 15 over logarithm of 12. Okay, logarithm of 15 over logarithm of 12. Okay, to simplify this class, use your calculator. So, what is logarithm of 15? Okay, for decimal places na lang. So, 15 logarithm, that would be ilan? 1.761761. 1.1761 divided by what is logarithm of 12? That is 1.0792. Diba? 1.0792. Okay, okay paki-divide. Ilan? 
Oh, ito na yung answer. So, 1.089. Ay, 0.89? 8? 0.9, sir. Ah, 1.09? Apo. Yes, sir. Tapos? 0.1. 0.1. Apo. Ah, okay. Wait lang. Check ko nga. Okay, ah, sige. That's correct. So, nakuha na yung change your base kung paano siya ginagawa. Yes, sir. Okay. Ba't paunti na tayo ng paunti? <laughs> okay. Ah, sige. Sorry, class. Medyo mabigat talaga yung topic natin for today. Ayan. Okay, anyway. Sige, let's proceed. I can see him Ayan, may mga practice. Yung try nyo lang yung mga let's practice class, ha? Okay, next. Ito na. Last na to. Natural, second to the last, rather. So we have natural logarithms. So base E logarithms are called natural logarithms or the night Napierian logarithms. Ba't siya tinawag ng Napierian? Because of its inventor, John Napier. So ito na yung sabi ko kanina. Ang base po ng natural logarithms is base E. Okay, the irrational number E, may value yung E natin, which is 2.7182818. Ito, ayan, ang tawag po natin dyan is the Euler's number. Ang basa dyan is Euler's. Okay. So, the natural logarithm of N is denoted by LNN. That is read as LN. Ellen, from Ellen, di ba? Or Lon. Okay, Lon na lang. Lon of N, which stands for natural logarithm. Okay, so kung meron tayong Y is equal to Ln X or Lon of X, therefore, that is equivalent to the logarithm of X with the base E. Kaya pag nire-write natin siya, X, o balik tayo natin, E raised to Y, di ba? So, ayan. Okay. So, properties of natural logarithms. So, we have two. E raised to L and X. Cancel na si E. E saka raised to L and X na lang. Number two naman is L and E raised to X. Cancel yon So, X na lang. Nakuha. So, ganun din dito. Yan lang o. Oh. check yun sa ano, example number four. Okay. Ngayon, class, using, using the change your base theorem, hahanapin natin kung paano kinukuha yung natural logarithm using common logarithm. So, we have ln, ln n. Ano yung base ng ln n? Di ba siya ay logarithm of n with the base e, di ba? Tama ba? Tama, class? Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Ngayon, gamitan natin to siya ng, ng ano, ng change of base. So, magiging ano siya? Log of N over log of E. Tama po ba? Yan. Ngayon po, si log of E natin ay merong value. Okay, pag tinipe niyo sa calculator, ang value niyan is ilan? Ayun no, 0.43429 or pwede ring ito na siya. 0.4343. So ayan po siya. Para hanapin yung ln kasi baka yung calculator niyo walang ln, pwedeng kunin siya as ln n any number 
is divided by log i is can be solved using log of n over 0 0.4343 ngayon class yung 0 0.4343 na to is what do we call modulus modulus of common logarithm Okay. O, oh, ito yun siya. Diba? Ayun, no? The value of log E is called the modulus of common logarithms. Okay. So ito, use common logarithm to evaluate the following. Kahit isa lang siguro. Okay. O sige, kunin natin yung number 2. Okay. So we have... Ayun na siya. Ano magiging gaito? Sa loan of... 32.1, magiging ano siya? Nawala ata ako. Ano yun? <laughs> Ayan. So, ano magiging ano siya? Magiging, oh sige. Gusto ko sa inyo class mang galing. O oh, using change of base. Yung ginawa atin kanina. Paano kunin? Log of 32.1. Okay, log of 32.1. Over E. Over? Log Okay, pwedeng ito nga. Okay, that's correct. Pero pwede nang diretsuhin natin. Ano ba yung log of 43-43? Okay, gamitin na agad yung modulus of common log. So, ilan ang value nito? Sige nga. O, oh, ilan? So, we have Tama ba, class? Ang value ng logarithm Yes, sir. Okay. Ang value ng logarithm of 32.1 is 1.5065. Divided by 0 0.4343. O, oh, ilan? Sige, I need your help. Ay, ilan po yung answer? O, oh, ayan. Tama ba yung answer ko? 36. Ay, 3 point. Doon yan? 6, 4, 6. 3 point. 4688, sir. Oh, sige. Okay, 3.4688. So, ayan. This is correct. Okay. Now, class, ulitin ko lang. We are done with our, with this uh, module. Okay? So, I promise that I will print this as soon as I can. Pwede niya siguro siya makuha by next week or hopefully on Wednesday. Siguro next week na lang kung okay lang. But, available na po yung, yung module nyo for this week. Yung itong week sa ito, ito class, available na to. Yung para sa next week, saka para sa next next week. Ihabol ko na lang tong isa. Okay? Anyway, this is already uploaded in your Google Classroom. So, no need or worries. If you want to have a, a soft copy, now, you can upload, uh, download this in the Google Classroom. So, kung, kung, ano nyo, kung gusto nyo ng printed, well, if you can wait until next week, pwede naman. Okay? Now, class, o sige, dito na tayo. We have solving logarithmic equations. So, in solving logarithmic equations, gito yung gagawin natin. Okay? So, all we have to do is to have 
one-to-one -one property po of logarithmic functions. Ayan siya. Kapag meron siyang logarithm, pwedeng i-cancel na lang yung logarithm. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, logarithm of u with a base b is equal to logarithm of v with a base b. Pwedeng tanggalin na lang natin yung logarithm with a base b. So, u is equal to v. And vice versa. Kung meron tayong u equals v, pwede natin balik ta rin. Pwedeng lagyan natin siya ng base ng logarithm. Okay? Parang kabalik ta lang lang sa exponential class. Naalala niyo pa ba yun? Di ba? Ayan. Ngayon, class, um, I will not... Um, Tawag dito. I will not use this example. Instead, I will use my own example. Okay? Sige. Paano ba mag-solve ng logarithmic equations? Okay. Sige. Now. So, first, we have logarithm of 9 with a base 3 is equal to the logarithm of x minus 2 with the base 3. Sige, anong gagawin natin, class? Cancel po yung base. Okay, parehong may base on both sides of the equation. Tama? So, cancel natin yung base. Sige, for... Ayan. Cancel. So, ano yung natira? 9, Nine equals, equals to x minus 2. Ayan po. And then, now, since wala na ibang balakid, madali na lang siya isolve. Solve for x na tayo. So, lipat natin si 2. We have 9 plus 2 equals x. So, we have 11 is equal to x. So, our x is equal to 11. Okay. Nakuha po? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. This is, we have three cases kasi. First case pa lang to. What if? What if, sir, isa lang yung may logarithm? So, anong gagawin natin? Okay. Si ganito yun. First case to, ha? This is second case. First case, parehong may logarithm. Kapag may, pareho silang may logarithm with the same base, cancel na lang. Second, kapag meron, kapag isa lang yung may base, or may logarithm, sorry, pag isa lang yung may logarithm, ang gagawin natin is to transform this to exponential. Nakuha ako? Ita transform natin siya to exponential. So, magiging ano siya? 2 raised to? Maging ano siya? 2 raised to ano? 4. 2 raised five. to 5 equals? X ito. minus 4. Itong minus buo. 4. Okay, itong buo. X minus 4. Okay. Sorry, class. Dapat pala to siya. Dapat pala to siya, class. May parenthesis. Okay. Kasi pag wala, Lipat nyo muna siya sa kabila. Nakuha ako? O sige, may gawa ako ng example na ganun. O pag may parenthesis, ibig sabihin, itong buo to yung answer. Ayan. Now, anong sunod? Simplify 2 raised to 5. What is 2 raised to 5? Thirty two po. Okay, thirty two. So we have 32 is equal to x minus 4. Now, simplify further. We have 32 plus 4 equals x. So 36 is equal to x. Okay. Ayan siya. Okay. E exam ano pa rin to? Um, tawag dito. Second case pa rin. Paano kung ganito? Logarithm of 2x minus 4 equals 5. 
ano ibig sabihin nito class yung minus 4 ba kasama pa ng ano ng x or hindi hindi na hindi Tanga. hindi na po opo kasi hindi siya na enclose sa parenthesis therefore ibig sabihin po itong logarithm of x minus 4 with a base 2 is isang buong term unlike this one logarithm of x with a base 2 lang siya minus 4 Okay? Yun yung kaibahan. Oh, okay. Ganun pala yun, sir. Yes. <laughs> Tama. Okay? So, ano mangyayari? Lipat ko si 4. Yun yung unang gagawin. So, we have logarithm of 2 or of x with a base 2 is equal to 4 plus 5. Ilan ang 4 plus 5? 9, di ba? 9 po. So, we have logarithm of x with the base 2 is equal to 9. Now, we rewrite this as exponential. So, we have ilan? 2. 2 raised to? Raised to 9. 9 equals x. Now, what is the value of 2 raised to 9? 9. Okay, 512. O, pwede nyo na i-calc you. <laughs> okay lang. O, nakita nyo yung difference. ba? Diba? Yung isa 36, yung isa 512 lang. Ah, 512 na. So, groupings matters. ba? Diba? Kahit naman sa inyo. ba? Diba? Dapat may group. Ang hirap magawa minsan, ba? Diba? Or yung iba, nahirapan pag may group. Ganon. Anyway, Basta magkaiba yung output kapag green up at saka hindi. Tama? So, ito siya. So, questions muna. Sige. O, dapat marunong kayo mag-transform, ha? From logarithmic to exponential. Kasi kailangan nyo yun. Okay. Burayin ko muna. Okay na? Okay na, class. Burain ko na. Yes, sir. Okay. Kasi mayroon po tayong case number three. Sir, so, may case number three pa? Yes. What if walang logarithm? Let's say, for example, we have 4 raised to x is equal to 5. Ginagamit natin, class, yung logarithm para... Ibaba natin yung exponential o yung exponent na may variable. Di ba? Ang hit, sir, bakit may exponent, sir, sa ano? Sa variable. Ay, sa... Mali. Ba bakit may variable sa exponent? Di ba? Tapos, hindi naman, sir, pareho yung base. Di ba? Sa exponential, madali natin masagot kapag pareho yung base. Di ba? Kakancel lang natin yung base. Sir, paano kung hindi pareho yung base? Katulad nito, wala namang kinalaman si 5 kay 4. Ganon. So, yun yung gagawin natin, class using logarithm. Okay. Di ba? Wala siyang ano. Wala siyang... Ito lang siya. So, kanina sa property, pwede tayo maglagay ng logarithm in both sides of the equation. Basta, pareho silang malagyan. Tama? So, kapag case number 3, gayo yung gagawin natin. Logarithm of 4 raised to x is equal to logarithm of 5. Nakuha ako? Yes, sir. Ngayon, ano yung pwede kong i-apply na, na law or property? Anong mapapansin nyo kay 4? Sir, ililipat po yung, ano, yung x. Okay, very good. Ibababa natin yung x. ba diba? Power rule. So, magiging x logarithm of 4 equals logarithm of 5. Ano yung hinahanap ba natin, class? Sige, at the first place. Ano yung hinahanap natin? Sige nga. X. Okay, very good. Yung value ng X. Paano natin mahanap yung X? Value of X. Di ba kailangan mag-isa lang siya sa kabila? Ngayon, ano ang gagawin natin dito sa X logarithm of 4 para X na lang? Okay. 
Sige, ano po? Hello? <laughs> Anong gagawin? Sige, kailangan tanggalin si... Ito na. Kailangan tanggalin si logarithm of 4. Paano ko tatanggalin? I-divide po both, uh, sa both sides. Very good. We divide both sides by logarithm of 4. Ay, ganun pala, sir. Yes. Yan. O, cancel. X is equal to logarithm of 5 over logarithm of 4. Ito na ba yung final answer? No. O, simplify nyo. Sige nga. O, kayo na magawa. What is logarithm of 5 divided by logarithm of 4? One point one six and one zero. One point one six one zero. The yun or taas pa lang? Yes, ako na po. Abo na yun. Wait lang ha. Tama ba? Pa iba answer ko. Divided by. Okay, one point. 1609 Tama ba? Sino yung nag-answer noon? Tama ba, Be? <laughs> ano sir, 1.1610. Ah, okay, 10. Ah, okay, tama. Run off. Run off nga. Okay. So that's correct. So it round off natin siya. Ayan. Okay. So yan po. Okay. So ngayon class, may nagre-request ka sa akin last uh, meeting um, regarding um, ano, um, the last, okay? Kasi may nakita, ay, sorry, wait na nga. Kasi may nakita daw siya sa last na parang di naman mahirap, pero parang mahirap nga. <laughs> Sige, check ko lang ha. Kaya, para mabigyan ko yung example. Wait lang, hanapin ko lang yung last natin. Saan na ba yung last? Okay. So, number ano daw yun? Okay. So, Ito ba yun? Ah, okay. Wala pala class. Na-explain ko pala lahat. Sorry. Um, it's that na, ayun pala class. Um, kung mapapansin nyo, puro equation yung ina-example ko. Kasi nga, di ba, as I've said last time, similar lang sila ng, ng greater than. Okay. It's that na kapag greater than or less than or inequality siya, di ba nag-iiba ng sign? Lagi ko naman yung pinapaulit-ulit, di ba? So, yun. Sige. As of this moment, may question ba kayo? I know that you are drained. <laughs> Ako din kasi na-drain. <laughs> so, anyway, baka may tanong kayo. May question po. None po, sir. Okay, none. Okay, so if there's none, um, the deadline of your learning activity sheet for this week would be next week. Okay, pinahaba ko na, kaya utang na loob, wag na kayo magpalit. Okay, charat. <laughs> Tapos, um, ito yon, ito ba yun? O, oh, ito yon ha? Ngayon po, um, if you have questions, feel free to message me. Pero class, ha? Huwag din masyadong gabi na kasi kagatod kagabi, ang aga ko natulog. <laughs> Super puyat. Yun. Ano pa ba? Um, ayun nga. Um, I promise that I will be printing the this this class. Itong class na to yung may 
common logarithms and anti-logarithms sa natural logarithms next week para may reviewer kayo. Baka magamit yun siya in college. Hindi eh, ko lang alam. yon Tapos, the rest, ayun. Printed na rin naman. So, isa-isa lang. Okay, so may questions pa ba? Okay, wala na bang tanong? Okay. So mukhang wala na rin naman. So if you have no more questions and you have no ano um, concerns, ayan, internet connection is unstable. <laughs> okay. So if you have no other concerns or questions, um, I guess um, that would be all for today. Goodbye, girls of Grade 11, Aristotle. See you soon. Bye, sir. Bye. Thank you po. Bye, sir. Bye. Pakasabihan po Bye, yung iba niyo. Ay, wait na. Wait, wait. Yung iba niyong classmates, sabihan niyo, ha? Okay, bye. Bye na. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Bye-bye. Bye, sir. Bye po.